Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file and he can't get, he said he, he called them construction boxes. If we look when we move it, look at the grayed out boxes. And for the one I'm doing this for, I missed that one right there. I did not do that. Uh, first of all, I'm going to turn off your indexing line so they won't bug me. Now, I, I first thought, well, what's the big deal? Just uh, get rid of that. It's kind of a, maybe once that box, I don't know, I'm going to go to group and ungroup. And at first I thought, well, just delete that box, delete that color. But that's what he wasn't talking about. He was talking about this box. And if you select it all, or you don't even have to go to view and wireframe, you can see those boxes. And I don't, you really can't just delete them. You know, you can't just turn them off because they're not really boxes. They're what I, he called construction, I call bounding. So we're going to do this one first. And we're going to, or the state, and I'm going to nudge it over. Whoop. Well, that's fine. Uh, and for the one I'm doing it for, I changed your star a little bit on the original. Uh, made it a hairline and filled it in. So I'm going to nudge this guy over. And... You can see that off the screen, it looks kind of fuzzy. Well, you just can't trace this. It just won't trace. Outline trace clip art, what's what happens. And it's basically non-existent. So what you have to do in this case is go to bitmap. Go to bitmap and convert it to a bitmap. Normally don't have to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and go black and white. And then you can trace it. Clip art and look at that. Now we can, I'm going to nudge the new one out of the way. I always take a yellow box just to make sure there's no white. And you can see it's not. Now I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to just nudge this right back over. Now you'd want to make sure that and especially if he's engraving this, that that line needs to be more than a hairline. And it really doesn't, maybe it's a fill. So there you go right there. <clears throat> the, uh, I did not do this bounty box here. And if you look, it's a bounty box. So I moved it by hand, so I need to move it back. I'm going to hit the plus key. I'm going to, matter of fact, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to change my nudge factor like to two. And I'm going to make a duplicate of that and move it over. I think we're going to have to do the same thing. This is pretty nice. Uh, it should trace good. But see, I hope I'm thinking the same thing is going to. No, it didn't. It worked. So there's your trace. And if you look at your bounding box, and no bounding box. So I'm going to move that back because I moved it by hand. And then I can just nudge it. I'm going to delete that one tell you what i gotta go back and i'm going to just delete that so we can see it and there you go you're not going to have a bounty box the wolf is a little bit different the wolf we'll go make a duplicate and see there's there's a good wolf right there so you could actually just delete this see there's multiple colors and that itself doesn't look bad uh, see, there's no bounding box, but there is a lot of, uh, you know what? I would just go with that. It, depending, I can't remember what I sent you, but you don't want all that black. So I'm going to say that is really done. Let's select it all and move it all. And see, now you can see no movement bounding boxes. So that should engrave. Um, since I didn't take too long to do that, I'm going to show him what I did with this star. Uh, and it, I don't understand why it's red, and I don't understand it's a skewed. It's not perfect. I'm going to take it, holding down the control button to make a perfect star. And see, he draws it evidently in half point, so I'm going to make it that hairline. I'm going to set it on top, and I'll make it a little bit bigger. And, and then I'm going to move it out of the way and I'm just going to get rid of this. And I apologize. I don't understand the red part. 
There's that star way over there. Then I can move it back and then I can just fill it in. I'm gonna take away the outline in case you're cutting something somewhere else. I think that star looks a lot better. And if, I, if you don't agree, I apologize. Then as always, I take a yellow box and look at it one more time. Object, order, back to paint. Okay, that's why I do it. There is some, I thought, it, I thought the wolf was too easy. So let's move the wolf out of the way. See, there's the white. So I'm just gonna take the black and I'm gonna take all the wolf. You know what, I'm gonna have four different wolves. You know what, all I need is the mouth. There we go, and the eye. And I'm gonna delete that line. I'm gonna delete all this. Now I'm gonna, I deleted my box, but that's, I can always make a new one. Object order, back of page. See the white? Let's take away the white. Let's select the wolf, take away the outline. Now all we can do is probably bring this guy back over. And that's really, I think that's good enough. With the exception, I would make this outline eh, maybe point and a half. I think that looks pretty good. So then just because we've nudged, we can nudge right back and it's right back where it was. Unless you want more black, which I don't think you would. Um, and I'll, I'll send you this file. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.